everyone and welcome back to a bonus video on the channel because today we've got this a bath 595 scorpion eoro i've opened up all of the doors and stuff to give you the full effect of the colors of this thing it's quite a striking looking car and that's why i'm making this video because i think it deserves its own sort of dedicated upload just to go around the features of it i realize this is a little bit different to my normal stuff but I hope you stick around because this is quite an interesting and limited car so if you don't want to miss any of these bonus uploads when I do upload them do make sure to subscribe to the channel now with notifications turned on and also as we go through this video please do leave comments and let me know what you think about this car I mean even in my family opinions are split I personally like the way it looks I love the wheels and the black paintwork and of course you guys know that because my BMW Z4 is black and recently went with bronze wheels. Although, full disclosure, these are a lot more than my bronze. They are very, very gold indeed. But it splits opinions in my family, so I can only imagine it's gonna split opinions amongst yourselves. So do comment below on what you think as we go through this video. So a bath then. Um, well, I mean, it is an a bath that needs a bath, if you pardon the pun. Because I've had this car for two weeks now, actually, and I've been using it quite a lot, it has picked up some dirt. But anyway, why do I even have this car? Well, it belongs to a Bath UK. They loaned it to me for two weeks. I said that I'd quite like something to help my bank account because dailying that V12 7 Series does tend to drain it quite quickly. 13 miles per gallon. This, a lot better. So I said, please help me out, save my financial situation and loan me something I can daily for the next few weeks. But anyway, more on that in a sort of upcoming review video. You might be interested in what I have to say about it, actually. It might not be what you expect. The most interesting thing about this car, apart from the way it looks, but there's a reason for that, is it's a limited edition. It's one of 2,000. It's actually quite limited if you think about it. The color is scorpion black, and it's sitting on 17 inch formula gold alloys, um, which are unique to this car. Obviously, we've got a gold pinstripe that follows all around the side of the car and around the other side as well, where you can't see, and this badging here in gold too. Also, we have the brake calipers in black, and I love the Abarth sort of center cap here in red. It does, I mean, it does really, really pop. So this is an Abarth uh, four pot with the usual 1.4 engine. This one is 165 horsepower. So if you have been watching the channel for a little while, you will have seen that this time, well, actually it was probably, yeah, last summer, end, end of last summer, I actually had a 595 Competizione from Abarth UK as well. And that was the slightly uprated 180 horsepower car with the Monza exhaust. But again, more on the sort of sound and stuff of this car as we go forward. So this is ever so slightly less powerful than that, but it still packs a punch. 165 horsepower in something as small and as lightweight as this is definitely still noticeable. In terms of its general styling then, well, like I say, gold badging that sort of carries around the car, the 595 badge here and the Scorpio Nero badge there. This has got the dual exhaust setup. Does not sound anywhere near as good as the Monza actually, which is a shame, but it looks quite nice with this, I guess, plastic black diffuser. It looks great from a distance. I mean, when you do get a little bit closer and pay attention to some of the materials, it's not the best. However, this car is only, I say only because it's brand new, is 22,000 pounds on the road. Now, when you compare that to some other things in its class, well, this does offer more in terms of the limited um, edition aspect of the car, and I think just the all-round character of it and the way it looks. From the front, then, you don't really get any hints until I close that and you can see the gold pinstripe here, which, like I say, does carry all the way around the car. And just before we jump inside, it's got a really cool checkered flag effect roof, which I don't know again if this is on other bath models, but having said that, it does look really cool because where I park this car, I've got a good view of it from my first floor in my house. And you can always see this roof and in the early morning light, it does shimmer and looks great. So inside the 595S is what I'm gonna call it because I'm gonna stop trying to say the word that this car is, the 595S. Um, first thing I'll say actually uh, is one of my sort of big dislikes with these cars, it's not a big dislike, it's a bit of a petty thing, but they leave the 500 badging here on the sort of dash cover that you would find in a actual Fiat 500 and it's normally in sort of a bright silver that stands out like a sore thumb. However, here they've done it in a sort of contrasting or at least a matching black in this case to the trim. But let's just give a moment to talk about the seats because I do really, really like these. Um, I don't think I've ever seen in a bath actually that doesn't have cool seats and this is definitely no exception. I love the embroidery here of the bath and then the S word 
in gold on there. And it's nice how it's finished as well in a two-tone, sort of two-style finish here. They're pretty comfortable, but to drive in, not great because I think the suspension lets it down. We'll talk about that a little bit more in the next video. Yeah, and so great looking seat, sadly a little bit annoying to operate with some horrible plastics, but again, 22 grand car, you can't have it all. In the middle here then, we have a plaque, 595S, one of 2000. So it doesn't number the cars individually, but this is really nice and solid here in the middle to remind you that you are driving a limited car. Also, the floor mats are specific and exclusive to this car as well with a gold badging on there. Really, really cool. Really, really nice to be honest, everything so far. And I will say, although the controls that you do the seats with a really nasty plastic, I have to say, and this is so flimsy. I always go for this when I'm trying to go for the handbrake, but everything else you touch to drive the car, such as the wheel in leather, the handbrake, which is in leather, and the gear shifter itself, which is a really nice feeling and solid gear shifter. Everything you touch to operate the car as such is very, very nice feeling. They do just save some costs on everything else. And yeah, this plastic here, really not pleasant at all. You can actually scratch yourself on it, it's that coarse. And like, like I say, the seat controls and everything that isn't really something to do with driving the car, it's a shame, but it's a cost saving for sure. Pedals as well look really good. I guess they're aluminium, um, solid to use. Very narrow pedal box, you've got to be careful. Uh, not to hit the brake instead of the throttle or vice versa. In terms of sort of creature comforts and everything else, well, it's in a Bath 595, so you can't expect the world. But one thing I found quite funny actually, which I shared on my Instagram when I picked the car up, is uh, four cup holders in here. Obviously it is a four seater, so that does make sense. But I mean, my Z4 only has one cup holder and I've been in plenty of cars far, far bigger than this that don't have four. So quite a big thumbs up there really four cup holders i mean i've certainly never ever used all four but like i say if you do have your four passengers perfect speaking of which i mean they'll have to be amputees let's just say that it's certainly not most spacious in the back there and i almost wish that they sort of did away with the rear seats for a bit more boot space i think for children perfect you could fit some children there nice and easily and i think they'd like this car too because of the way it looks so really that's probably what it's designed for so i'm not going to complain but yeah, don't expect to buy this car and get four uh, average size adults in here comfortably. It won't happen. Actually, it won't even be comfortable. It will just be impossible. Good pointer though. We've got Apple CarPlay in this car, which is which is great. We've got the familiar above display in the middle, which differentiates between normal driving modes and sport. Annoying though, I actually prefer the display that you get in normal driving mode, but the car does lend itself to driving better and being more fun in sport. So I haven't found a way to sort of change the display apart from adapting the drive mode. So that's a shame. It is cool. I'm excited to uh, share with you my thoughts on driving it because that is really why I wanted this car. I wanted to drive it and see how it compared to the really, really rough competition that I had. And rough by, by rough, I mean the ride was very rough. So I wanted something a little bit less powerful, a little bit softer to maybe see if it could be a perfect little city car now that I'm living in London. However, you'll have to see what I think about that. You might be surprised. Um, but unfortunately, it's not quite lived up to what I would hope. But you'll have to wait and see why that isn't exactly what I think on that uh, in the next video. Anyway, that's really it for this one. I just wanted to show you around the car and I will say, I think it looks fantastic all in all. Make sure you subscribe. Of course, there's more content coming with the 7 Series in the next video, actually. Z4, there'll be some stuff with that. Hopefully when we can get it on track again. And like I say, a video coming up with this Scorpion Neuro. That's the last time I'm going to say it <laughs> um, very soon. So yeah, make sure you subscribe for all of those. If you haven't already, comment below on your thoughts of the way this car looks. I genuinely am intrigued to know. And give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Until then, guys, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you very, very soon.